Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. I have a very generous friend of mine who is loaning in this Bamford G Square so that I can check it out and so that I can compare it to a couple of other watches. So this video is really going to be kind of like an unboxing and comparison all in one. I'm not going to review the watch just because if I'm honest, I didn't want to do the research. I didn't want to look up Bamford. I have no clue what Bamford is. All I know is that this was a UK limited edition release that me and several of my buddies wanted to get our hands on and we either couldn't or didn't. I probably could have pulled some strings with some friends that live in the UK, but I didn't want to mess with it. And now you can get one if you want to feed the scalpers on eBay, and I kind of refused to do that. But a friend of mine in a watch group was selling this one at a reasonable price, and so I would kind of pinged him saying, hey, you know, I might be interested in picking it up just because I wanted to do this video, but then I probably would have flipped it. And it turns out that my other buddy bought it and he was willing to have the seller send it to me as kind of a little midway point before sending it up to him. And so, John, big thank you for this. I really appreciate it. And Sam, thanks for helping with the arrangements and whatnot. And let's take a look at it. So it comes in this nondescript box like a lot of Casios do. And then you get the decorative box. Now this is pretty cool. It just says Bamford and whatnot on the front end. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the whole reason that I was attracted to these things in the first place is because of that blue. And y'all know that I'm a nut. I'm a sucker for blue, like I love blue. But that's what drew me into it. So let's take a look at this. And I think that's a, a thing for Bamford. The little bit that I looked on the website, Bamford does other watch pairings or other watch collaborations, and the whole blue is their stick, if you want to call it that. So I can kind of appreciate that. But it lifts off, and then we see in here, let's go open, open this up. G Shock Bamford. And. Here it is. So give me one second. That's going to make a bunch of noise. So let's play some music while I get this thing opened up real quick. Okay. You'll notice that they're not shy about showing you that it's a limited edition. I mean, it's branded right here on the front. There's a bunch of manuals and cards and whatnot down in there. And I don't think anybody ever touches those or reads them. There is this really nice, almost like a leather or faux leather holder that it was on so if that would fit in my watch box i almost might use this for this watch just to keep everything kind of together but that's awesome let me get this moved over to the side because this is really what we wanted to look at there's the bamford logo on the straps it's got this beautiful blue kind of painted into the bezel top and bottom, and then it's got that same beautiful blue around kind of the dial. Now this one is, it, it's nice, it's got the two-tone band, I do like that, and the bamford on the buckle. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like the two-tone band, I have a couple with that, and it, when you wear it, it's not noticeable, it's not like hugely noticeable, but it does give it like an accent when you tilt it to the side, which I think is pretty neat. Um, I've got, y'all know my Zelos, Mako has got a Barton silicone strap, Barton Elite silicone strap, and it's two-tone like this, and it does the same thing. It kind of gives it that, just a little bit of an accent, which is neat. But dimensions, specs, all that, it's, it's all gonna be the same for every square that you had. I will zoom in on the back though just so you can see model number reference so it is the module 3159 the GWM 5610 and I do have another one of those sitting over here I'm going to compare it to. It does say limited edition Bamford and then all of your other normal kind of stuff. Now 
I will say that the negative display reads better in person than it's coming across on camera. I found that a lot of the negative displays, they're easier to read, of course, with the auto light on. Now, when you get this thing kind of the right angle or out maybe in some daylight, you'd be able to see it better. But I was just talking to a buddy of mine, Alan, about how he's got one of these and he just, he loves it, but he can't read it. And y'all know that I've joked about the Cassiopes, the black, all black, and the all red. They're pretty much illegible. Like you just straight up can't read the time on it. And so it might be that the Bamford, this negative display is kind of in that realm. I mean, I don't, I don't know. At certain angles, I just can't even tell. It looks like it's almost turned off. That's an interesting aspect. Now, here's, here's what I want to do real quick. I want to compare it to two other watches. So the first one I'm going to compare it to is my all-time new favorite G. I can't take this thing off. Like, I love it. I got it on the V1 Combi. It's a perfect fit. And you can see here, I'm a sucker for blue. It's got the blue on the bezel. And in fact, the display even kind of has a hint of blue on it, aside from the blue accents. The actual display itself, it's a positive display, but the display has got a blue hue to it, which I think is fantastic. Now, this one, I can never remember the names or the numbers on these. So let's just zoom in here. We'll get that real quick. Same 3159 module, GWM 5610BA. BA. So in many ways, these watches probably have very similar uh, functionality and everything to them. You know, I will say the Bamford, I love the blue ring around the screen. And I wish that maybe this one, you can see it's got a little bit of an accent there, but it might have been cool to have a full blue accent across that. But it's also interesting to see that these are two different shades of blue. Now, again, the Bamford collabs, this may be like a proprietary blue to them, but let's get zoomed in. Let's see if I can get them close to each other. The Bamford blue is a little more tame when the blue on the right is a little bit more, I don't want to say neon, but it's brighter. Like it's got a little bit more of an 80s effect to it. That's interesting. The blue on the Bamford is definitely a little bit more sophisticated, I would say which could be what Bamford is known for. I know, you know, you got the Tiffany blue and, and Tiffany tries to be more sophisticated as well. So it's kind of interesting just to see those, you know, you see them in the different lights and what you can and can't read. And yeah, it, this watch is amazing. If you're on the fence of getting one of these, get it on a combi and love it. Well, let's go to the next comparison. I had a buddy of mine I was talking about the Bamford and how I, I was almost trying to buy this one before my buddy John um, scooped it up. And my buddy reminded me, hey, Josh, don't you have this other one, the, what I call the cotton candy, GMW5610, I think that says PC, yeah, PC. So I call this one the cotton candy. And this one's pretty neat because you can see it's got the two-tone band so it gives you the accent the way that that does i do like the bamford black clasp so i might switch this one out to a black i've also thought about putting this one on a combi just because i love the combi so much but then i lose the accent of the of the blue underneath which is tough because one of the things i like is the blue accent so other than that the, the clasp i definitely like the bamford logo here on that that's that's awesome but when we were comparing these you know, the negative display, it's pretty much the same module in both. And in, if I'm honest, you pretty much can't read either one of them in person. So you can see about how well that's coming across. If I get in the right light, maybe, or when the light comes on, but just day to day, I definitely can't read it as well as I can read this one. So that's just something. I don't know what Casio can do to maybe make their negative displays a little bit more legible. Because I think a lot of people like the dark aspect of the negative display. I do. But when I compare this to like the 3459 module in a bunch of the Metal Gs, I do not have a problem reading my negative display Metal Gs. But for some reason in this, this module, or what is this, the 3159, I, it's much more difficult to read. So yeah, there's that. 
but let's zoom in again. I want to compare the, the color of blues. You'll notice that at the top here, the cotton candy one, it has like a gray paint in it. It's not blue. And then you could see the chapter ring or the, the ring around the screen is, is close. It's close. And then there's the pink accent. And again, that's why I call it the cotton candy. And then the blues on the bottom. Now these are, they're not the same color, but they are much closer or more similar than the other blue one that I was just holding up. And that's interesting. And I would still say the Bamford is probably the best color blue out of all of them. It really is. So if you're getting this for the blue, the Bamford is the best blue. It really is. Now let's look at the bands because I want to compare that. I was curious to see if they just use the same bands for these or not. And they look, they look identical to me. So where I could tell the color difference on the bezel, the bands look to be the exact same color. And I'm trying to look at them through the camera. I'm trying to look at them off camera. And from what I can tell, man, if they're not the same, they are so close. The Bamford might be a hair darker than the cotton candy. So anyway, let me zoom out. Let me get these held right back up. This is pretty much what I wanted to do. I really just wanted to, to film this. The blue on the Bamford is amazing. If you want it for the blue, the Bamford blue is the best blue. It really is. This cotton candy, it's nice, but now that I've held it next to the Bamford, it's not as nice as the Bamford. I would say neither one of those are as nice as my positive display. And I think that's mainly just for functionality. And I like the blue, the hint of the display. Um, Maybe if the paint here on the bezel was the Banford blue, this watch would be better. Anyway, let me know, what do you think down in the comment section? Well, one, did you get a Banford? Do you love it? What do you think of this blue compared to the others? Is it the best blue? Like I think it might be. And if you can't get a Banford or if you're not willing to pay the crazy scalper prices, what do you think of the cotton candy or some of these other options like this 5610BA? All right, y'all. Until we talk again, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep my sanity safe. The negative display reads better in person than it's coming across on camera. And this has got all the whiz bang doodads. So I'm guessing it's solar. I'm trying to look at it here. So again, I think it's my light set up, so I'll have to apologize. Wait, no, I'm looking at it off camera and and it's almost equally difficult to read in person. So so that's just that's what you get with some of these negative displays. You just can't read them. Let me see if the light. Which one is the light? All right. This this video is just a straight up mess because because I don't know how to use this watch, but I'm trying to figure it out. All right, here. Let's turn the lights off. Okay. Oh, Lou Monster in the back. Look at him go. Oh, it does have the auto light feature. So I tilted up, it turned on. Yeah. So with the auto light feature, I guess it's set to short distance and that's not going to focus for me. So yeah, this video is just a hot mess. Thank you.